Hello, it's Sarah, and I just wanted to do a fish tank update for you guys. This is my 29 gallon. I shared previously I'd gotten the kit from PetSmart. And here's where we're at. That was on July 17th, so here we are at August 30th. Uh, it's all cycled and up and running, and I'm thinking I'm going to do a video for you guys about the high, um, nitrogen cycle. But just for today, let's go over what I have in here. Um, initially, I tried to do a beta sorority. So that white fish that's going back and forth in the back, she just came up. She's my only beta um, I have left. I got three. And the big blue is the biggest one. The, I got a red, white, and blue one. Oh, she's eating the eggs. Oh, I like that. Anyway. Um, I overfed the blue one, got dropsy, and died. I don't know what happened to the red one, but the red one died. The red one was the smallest, so probably got picked on. And she's thriving, so she's doing really well. That was that experiment. But I do have to say, I love female betas. Look at her. She's just lively. She's beautiful. They're interactive, they're feisty, like whenever I clean the cage, she comes right up to my hand, and anyway, I said cage, it's a tank, but um, that was the first thing I did along with snails, and at the moment, there's a white one over here, see my finger, and I have a gold one down here, anyway, I got three, and they got huge, I mean, those things, they're called, um, apple snails or mystery snails and they are so fun to watch they've been a hit the whole family loves the snails um so at the moment there's only two in there because i i did change things around when i finally got the other fish so that was all and then i and then i had a quarry cat was down in my 10 gallon just one quarry Corydora, they're like catfish, the little catfish, and they like to school. So I don't know why the guy didn't tell me that I should buy more than one, but I only bought one, and he got really big. He's over in this corner. He's a little fatty. Let me see if I can show you. He really got big because when I only had the 10 gallon, I was just feeding him anyway, but I got him three buddies. So there's a total of four in there now and you can see them there's a cup there's one there and I did just feed the tank so they're kind of um, scavenging everything right now um, so at the moment I have my female beta two mystery snails four Corydoras and two nearite snails now those I had one nearite snail in blues tank my 10 gallon and I never saw him I didn't know if he was even alive or dead and he wasn't doing much so I decided to buy another nearite snail which I have in the in here somewhere it, they're much smaller I got a striped one and decided to bring my black one up from blues cage that's when I put the other mystery snail down so right now in my 10 gallon I only have a male beta blue and my and one mystery snail that's all that's down there but I haven't seen them the nearites I mean although I did see the striped one was hitchhiking on one of the on the um, look at it look at it's about to it's coming down that ivory one sorry they're so cool you guys I'm gonna see if I can zoom see him he's just cruising along the glass anywho um but the nearites are leaving these little eggs, and I did hear this, that they did that. Um, they're, they're leaving eggs all around the glass and stuff. I just noticed that this morning, there's some on this leaf, there's some on the glass somewhere, up oh, right up here, right there, and then there's some on the back glass. Um, anywho, it's fine. They don't hatch. Oh, look, the white one's about to take a drop. It's dropping down, poof, and landed on the plants. Um, anywho, I am enjoying this fish tank so much. Um, what else? So then I went, I found this other aquarium center place. It's a little bit of a drive, but they have 
the live plants like in water so they don't melt as easily like that plant in the middle I got from there and it has grown so much um, the all of the floating plants I got I got um, water lettuce salvia I think it's called and um, red root floater and those will get very long and I'll have to trim the roots but you just leave them up there I just love it it, it really adds to the tank uh, overall um, and then I went and I got tetras I thought after I tried the beta sorority I was like I just want to do a community tank with some chill fish that nobody picks on anybody and it's just gonna be calm because it is in the Zen Den after all <laughs> so I went with tetras and I got <clears throat> I got six neons so they're the blue and red ones and I got six amber so they're kind of golden and I got I came home those were from the aquarium center put them in and then I went to pet smart because I needed something else I wanted to get um, oh a different a different pump for I bought a, um, a sponge filter so I needed an air pump anyway and of course I bought fish because why wouldn't I and those are those red miners they're called so these over here there's only two of them left because two died like the next day I got four I don't know why I got four but I am gonna get more of those I'm gonna wait a couple weeks I ordered a lid for my six and a half gallon I'll show you that in a second um, so when that comes in I'll go and I'll get I'll probably get four more of those if they have them because they're so cool I just really think they're for, for tetras they're they're just beautiful it's these two right here they're very cool they're kind of twitchy and but I just think they're adorable and they're chill I love them they're so cute anyway I saw those at PetSmart so I got them and that I think is everybody um I have been feeding them once a day since I killed the betas now listen this is a learning curve everybody should know that this hobby needs some research before you get into it there's a lot going on it's an ecosystem it's a bio biological thing <laughs> look all the corridors are over here I put these pellets in there for my snails that have calcium and stuff but the Corys really love them too. I think everybody's eating pretty good, but I'm only feeding once a day. Once a day, because what I learned is you can kill your fish from overfeeding. So it's better that they're a little hungry and I just don't want to kill them because that was so sad. when I Because I literally tried to save, Blueberry was his name, the one um, beta, the female beta. Look, I'm going to see if you can see his little mouth going up the side of the tank. See his little mouth? That's his mouth. He's kind of eating, hello, he's kind of eating algae, I guess, or whatever. I, the snails are my fave, I'll tell you. Yeah, now these little nearite snails, which I can't, I don't even know where one is to show you. They're like a quarter of the size of those monsters, but they're the ones laying these little white eggs, so... I'll have to figure that out and maybe oh oh the only thing left that I'm gonna do is I may get two more fish they're called rams and that was a suggestion by the young lady uh, Natalie her name was um, who sold me the tetras she said because they're kind of like centerpiece fish so I would only get two of those a male and a female and I think they're in the chiclet family or cichlid family and um, she said that they would do good in here, but they're, they're very cool looking, especially the male. The males, look at her. She's just going back and forth. I don't know why she's all turned up. Maybe she just ate. Oh, because I feed blood worms. Um, flake. Algae wafer, just like one algae wafer, I just break it up and so there's a little piece all along the bottom and I just leave those in there and the snails will get them. The snails kind of will eat, I've seen snails eat blood worms. I've seen, everybody eats everything so it's really good. 
and that's it. So, I don't know. I'm going to do another video about the nitrogen cycle. Um, all right, you guys. Everybody's good here. Life is good. But I want to get back to you. I want to get back to sharing what I love with you guys because um, YouTube, my YouTube family, I haven't forgotten you. All right? And that's it. Thanks for watching.